So you whip up your batter with some cottage cheese, some, not a lot, some dry oatmeal, and then uh, you got your nuts roasting on your griddle. You want your heat to be reasonable, not too hot, but reasonable. It may look a little sloppy, but it's it's hard to make a mistake when you know what you're doing. This can be fixed. You just cut right there and flip. Flapjacks done correctly don't have to look pretty. And they just have to taste right. They have the right consistency. When these are done cooking, or when it's time to flip, you'll see little holes form. And that will tell you that it's either time or fast approaching to flip. And then at that point, um, if you've forgotten, as I have, you can add your blueberries. Normally you would just add the blueberries to the batter, but I'm fresh out. Which is kind of sad. These egg cups are pretty cool. I mean, you can use them for anything. Uh, you could drop this in boiling water, you could put it in the oven, you could broil it, or you could cover them in tin foil and flip them over. So it will look like that. If you're fancy and fast, you can flip them onto there really quick, but uh, probably wouldn't try it. Um, you can just put the eggs on and then flip them up and then put the cup on top of it, if you like. If you flip your pancakes and you kind of overlap them by accident a little bit, it's okay because they're too big and so are you. And it's been a while since you did it, just like you. So don't worry. Let's face it. We didn't think the cup thing was going to work out anyway. I mean, nobody else did, so all you did was meet their expectations. No harm, no foul. If you succeeded, then there'd be trouble. That's what it looks like before you eat it. flapjacks stand proud. More proud than the eggs. Proud great white flapjack. Runny yolks and cheese. There's nothing wrong with eating a piece of cheese.